Good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday in the 16th week in Ordinary Time, we're going to complete our reading in the book of Micah. We're in chapter 7, verses 14 through 15, and then also verses 18 through 20. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock, your inheritance, that dwells apart in the woodland and in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Basham and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance, who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You who show faithfulness to Jacob, the grace of Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, The prophet Micah is a contemporary of Isaiah, so there's a lot of overlap and similarities in the types and the ways they kind of Uh, weave their prophetic work. And the way it's done is that you have these woes or situations and then, you know, it can be overwhelming. And so then then there are these times where there are the promises that are given. And so in this ending of the book, we didn't read it, but in the beginning of this chapter is there's a lot of concern on the part of Micah and about, well, society at large during his time that there was a lot of things that were wrong that were just simply not going right. And in the midst of that, then he gives this wonderful, it's almost like a prayer that comes forth from him saying, shepherd your people with your staff, the flock, your inheritance that dwells in the woodland in the midst of Carmel. Uh, Feed them as in the day of old. As in the day of old, come from the land of Egypt, show wonderful signs. And there's kind of almost like an echo of the Messiah because that's exactly what he does. And then there's kind of like this pause that we have in here. And then it comes to this recognition of God and everything that's going on saying, who is there like you, the God who removes guilt? Who is there like you, God? And that's almost like a pun on the name Micah, what it means in Hebrew. And there isn't anyone other than the Lord God. He is supreme. And he is the one who takes away our sins. And it buries them in the, in the bottom of the sea, the depths of the sea, as it says here. Uh, you have shown faithfulness to Jacob and the grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The promise is there. It doesn't look that way around as we're looking, but the promise is nonetheless there. And when God has spoken it, it is yea and amen. That's what we rest in, in the midst of when it seems like, well, not quite that way. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye for now.